This morning, Hamas leader and October 7th mastermind Yahya Sinwar is dead after being killed by Israeli forces. President Biden calling the death of the terror leader an opportunity for a potential new breakthrough in ceasefire negotiations. Do you have a sense of when he will end the war, sir? Sinwar was found by this Israeli military drone hiding in Rafa. These images show his final moments, sitting in a chair, injured, throwing an object at the drone before soldiers killed him. Soon after confirming Sinwar's death, a cautious optimism across Israel, with hope that this could help end the war. This is a critical, time-sensitive development as it relates to the hostages. Families of the hostages are also concerned about what it means for the well-being of their loved ones. I'm not shedding one single tear for the life of him, but now there's no central leadership. So the hostages are now left to the uh, mercy of the local captor, which is much more dangerous for them. Killing Sinwar has been one of the main goals of Israel's war with Hamas. Less certain who will emerge as Hamas's next leader and how will that impact the wider escalation in the region. Even with these major high-value target operations, it almost never leads to the strategic defeat or collapse of a terrorist group. And the bigger the group, the more resilient they are. Vice President Harris said the world is better off as a result of Sinwar's death. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is expected to travel to Israel within the next four or five days. Christiane Cordero, ABC News, Washington.